Today we're going to do a function and safety check on the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield EZ 9mm pistol. Anytime you clean the gun, take it apart for any reason and put it back together, this is a quick way to make sure everything is working, all the functions are working and all the safety features are working 100%. Here we go. First thing as always, make sure the gun is completely unloaded. No round in the chamber, no magazine in the gun, and make sure there are no live rounds anywhere in the immediate area so you can't accidentally get a, get a round in there and have a negligent discharge. So once the gun is verified twice, unloaded. Close the slide. First thing you want to check is to make sure the trigger works. So fire grip on the gun, safety off, point it in a safe direction, press the trigger. Have to rack the slide to reset it, press the trigger again. All right, rack the slide to reset. Safety on, firing grip, grip safety depressed. Gun should not fire. Safety off, put it in a safe direction. Gun will fire. Reset the action. Safety off. Grip safety not depressed. Gun should not fire. Grip safety depressed. Gun should fire. Reset your action. Okay, you verified that the external safety and the grip safety are working as designed. Next thing we want to check is to make sure that the slide will lock back when you fire your last shot. So you take an empty magazine, put it into the gun, simulate firing the gun by racking the slide, and it should lock back. That's because an empty magazine, as designed, will lock the slide back so that you know now, if you're shooting, that your gun is empty. Okay, we wanna make sure that the ejector is working correctly. So we're going to take some dummy rounds, also called snap caps. These are just completely inert, um, exact size of real ammo. These are just cartridges that look just like nine millimeter cartridges. Very important here that you verify that none of these are actually live rounds. You cannot be too careful. So these are all fake rounds. So we're gonna load these into the magazine, carefully checking each one to make sure it is indeed a dummy round. All right, then we're gonna put it into the gun, rack the slide. Now that should have put a round in the chamber and your chamber loaded indicator right here this raises up and this is what tells you that there's a round in the chamber so that's another thing that we now know works so what we're going to do now we're going to simulate firing the gun by racking the slide manually each time i rack the slide the gun should eject the cartridge that's in the chamber and load a new one from the magazine so it's going to look like this and when it's empty the slide should lock back all right, there's a quick check of the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9EZ function and safety check. This gun is good to go. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below.